XA Away Shop Fitu. Thank you for tuning in to Start the Stories. I hope we are all having a great day. Before we go straight ahead with this one, if you are a first time viewer of the channel, and please make sure you smash that subscribe button, turn the notification bell, leave your thought, comment down below the section. And if you are a returning subscriber, man, shout out to you, Rato Never Left the Building. Let's go straight ahead without wasting any further time. Kizzy Chiefs and Orlando Pirates miss out on top defender target. After initial interest from Kizzy Chiefs and Orlando Pirates, it seems both Soweto Giants are set to miss out on a top defensive target, which is Kizzy Chiefs and Pirates are both hard at work trying to secure more signings ahead of the next season. As it stands, KZ Chiefs have signed four players while Pirates have just announced their fifth signing just this week. So far, Chiefs have managed to bring in four players and they look to reshuffle their pack ahead. They are opener of the they are opener of uh, of out of the four new signings three are defensively minded including a goalkeeper as it stands chiefs have signed the trio of bongani sam ntwari dotley to boost their defensive so far it has only been the later that has been unveiled by amakusi this ahead of their four loss to younger sc neither of them did come on though and had to watch the Toyota Cup loss to the Tanzanian Giants. Sam is the only one of the trio who joined early enough to go to Turkey with the squad. Chiefs and Pirates both interested in Torre. Chiefs then finally signed an attacker in former Memory Sundown star Gaston Serino, who joins on a two year deal. Pirates, they signed Talent Mbata on a permanent deal and uh, Sailele Rase Boja from Super Sport United on a free in attacking areas. They also have added the likes of Gilberto the Angolan, costing 10 million from Petro di Londa. Their blonde head winger won't be the only white man signed by the club, with Tuso Muleka Muleleki also a new addition to the course. Pirates then also added Darren Von Royen from Stellenbosch to their team. This week it is believed that he was not the only defender they wanted to sign from the Cape Town Winelands. Said, however, them and Chiefs were believed to be interested in Ishmael Torre as well. So now, according to Strati Stories, it is now unlikely he will move to either during this window there. Has been a lot of interest in Ishmael Torre, and both Chiefs and Pirates have been new on his services. He hoped that he would leave, but it doesn't look like that will happen soon. The thing is, he really wanted to take his career to another level, but that might have been viewed differently by the club Stellenbosch as if he was trying to force the move having said that the transfer window is still open and anything can still happen but like i say it doesn't look like there will be a move this winter said the strategy stories inside source publication would you love to have him in soweto teams please let me know uh, down below the comment section chiefs and pirates fans do you think your respective teams need tore feel free to leave your thoughts down below the comment section, Buffy too. From your boy Isaac, why so nice? Rato never left the building. How we man?